Hi there, and welcome to the Witcher Math Channel for the last video of the 2015 school year. Ha! Ah, I'm all checked out, ready to go home, but this has been on my list for the entire week, so here we go. These are called protractors. Yep, those funny half circle shapey things that we use to measure angles. Okay, I got a little one, I got a big one. Um, and in a perfect world, here's how they work. We got yourself an angle. An angle consists of two rays that have a common vertex right there. Bam, there's the vertex from which the rays emanate. And typically, there's a little curvy line indicating uh, the angle that the book or the teacher wants you to measure to give you a little bit of direction there. So in the perfect world, here's all you do. You uh, find the crosshairs. The crosshairs, I don't know if you can see this very well. On this one, it's easy because there's a dot right there. On some other protractors, like this little guy, see those, the crosshairs right there. X marks the spot. It's where you put the vertex, okay? So, you put the vertex in the crosshairs. Bam, right there. On the bigger one like this, sometimes they have a hole right there. That's nice. You put the put the vertex right there in the hole. Okay. Then start at three o'clock, assuming you know to how to keep time other than digitally, right? <laughs> There's three o'clock. In case you never learned that one, maybe we should make a video there, right? You're gonna start at three o'clock. You're gonna move counterclockwise, which is that way, moving toward twelve o'clock and you count from zero, which is usually, and on this one it's true, it's usually the inner semicircle, right? There's two sets of measurements here. This one goes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 on the inside. On the outside, you probably notice it goes 180, 170, 160 going backwards. But uh, we're going to start at zero and count up starting at three o'clock. So we just go here, 10, 20, 30. This one happens to be 30. We write it down. We're done. Everybody's happy. But the thing is, you probably already knew this. We don't live in a perfect world. Because if we did, this video would be over and I'd say thanks. Click here to subscribe. But we don't live in a perfect world. We live in the real world. So it's about to get real right now. Okay, let's check this out. I've got a couple of uh, common problems here, and then I also I'm going to show you some uh, common mistakes that I see students make. Okay, in the real world, these angles are pretty tiny because they're in a textbook. And a lot of times you're not allowed to write in a textbook, and then look at this. Oh man, how am I supposed to measure that? <laughs> it's crazy. So, but you're asked to do this all the time, so you need strategies, okay? The best strategy is here, especially if it's in a book, use just a very light pencil marking. The teacher will never know. I'm using a marker here, but uh, pretend you're using a pencil. Make a very faint, a light or faint line, okay? And extend it. So, and you can even extend this one too, right? So the solution is extend the lines, okay? Don't estimate, don't guess, don't say, it wasn't long enough, I couldn't measure it, right? Find a way to make it work. So here I drew some, we'll call these faint lines in the textbook. And now look, I can read it perfectly well. It looks like it's about 58 degrees. Yay, problem solved. Okay, and then when you're done, oh man, I don't have any erasers. But when you're done, you know, you, you drew a very light, faint line, then erase it. Erase the line that you drew. Okay, so erase that, your teacher will be amazed. They'll be like, how did you measure that? It was so tiny. 
and you just kind of smile and say, well, I have my ways. Okay, that's it. This one here, hey, it doesn't have, see, at least this one, it was tiny, but it had the little thingy there telling you what to measure. This one doesn't tell you what to measure. So you could have a lot of different answers for this, but what you need to do is assume that it's a perfect world. <laughs> Look at it through rose-colored glasses. Right? Look at the world through rose-colored glasses. Go back to our perfect world. We've got the vertex. We're going to start at 3 o'clock. We're going to move counterclockwise. So here's what I would do. In this situation, assume that there's supposed to be that there. Okay? So assume you're going to measure that, and then just follow all the rules. Okay? So I'm going to take my, uh, let me use a tiny one this time. I'm going to line up the vertex in the crosshairs. See, there's the little crosshairs, right? Right there. Okay. Bam. Crosshairs. Measure. Start at 3 o'clock. Count the inner circle. 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 141. Let's call it that. And then we're happy. Okay. So if, you, if you're missing the little angle marker thing and you're like, what do I measure? Do I go this way? No. Do I go this way? No, probably not. You want to just assume that you're in a perfect world and look at it through rose-colored glasses, start at 3 o'clock, go backwards. Chances are you'll be fine. Okay, let's look at some common mistakes made by real students. Where? In the real world. Here we go. Common mistakes. Here's an angle. Student says 145 degrees. Oh, sorry. That one's wrong. First, let's understand why it's wrong. How is it wrong? Here's what this student did. They put the vertex in the crosshairs. Very good. But they, they assumed we're in the perfect world a little bit too much. They went too far with it. They started over here, right? They started at 3 o'clock and went this way. But the problem is there's no line over here. Sometimes you're going to be given angles that are in a weird orientation and you just got to say, hey, this one opened this way. Or what if we move it around and make this the three o'clock? You can do that, you know. You can take a book and spin it around. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. Because when it doesn't look like something you recognize or know how to deal with, see if you can change it so it does look like something you recognize. Okay? So, I'm going to take that strategy of extending my lines. I spun the paper around so it does say 3 o'clock. Line up the vertex. And count using the inner circle. Notice I keep repeating the same perfect world rules. 10, 20, 36. Let's call it 36, okay? Now when I spin it back around, it looks all weird because I wrote it sideways, but you know what? It's right. It is correct. So anyway, if it's not a perfect world, if you're in the real world and it looks weird, of course, we're all delusional. We want to make it look like the perfect world. Okay, let's check out this one. We've got this mistake and one more. Student says 40 degrees. Wrong. What did they do wrong? Let's follow the steps for the perfect world. If we line it up here, we start at 3 o'clock over here, following those same steps from the first minute of this video. Line it up. It's 3 o'clock. Oh, I see what they did. Look, they said 40 degrees. There's 40. So I can understand why they did 40 degrees. They used the outside semicircle. They used the outside semicircle, which means they started here at 180, 170, 160. Well, that just doesn't make sense, right? They counted backwards. 
When we count, we start at zero or we start at one and go up from there, right? So they just forgot to use the inner circle. So here we go. Three o'clock, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, blah, 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 blah. 140 is correct, okay? So always be very careful. Be very careful and create that perfect world whenever you can. Even though I can understand why they did that or how they did that, that doesn't mean it's right. It just means I understand and then I could teach them the right way. And hopefully I just taught you the right way that you remember. One more mistake here. Here's this. This is a reflex angle, right? A reflex angle is greater than 180 degrees. You see? And our protractor only goes up to 180. Protractor has a max of 180. It's going to be less than or equal to 180. A reflex angle is more than that, so we got to figure out a strategy. See, if the student says 125 or 55, here's what they did. Maybe they spun it around like this. Good strategy, right? Make it look like 3 o'clock. And then they measured. These tiny ones are really good, right? Because you don't have to have such a long line. Get a tiny protractor if you can. It works better in school. And then they measured 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And see, right there, 125. I can understand how they got 125. And check this out. If they did this mistake of going this way, there's 55, right? If they pretended there was a line there and went this way, I could even understand how a student would get 55 here. Those are two wrong answers. If this was a multiple choice test, you could bet those would be two possible answers because they reflect real uh, errors that people make. So here's the deal. We know a flat line, and this says we're measuring it this way. This little thing saves the day. We know a flat line or a straight angle is 180 degrees, right? And we just found out with, by making a common mistake that this is 55. So what do we do? We go 180 plus 55. And hopefully if this was multiple choice, one of your choices would be 235 for that reflex angle. And that's how you could deal with angles that are greater than 180, okay? Another way you could do this is you know a full circle equals 360, right? So we could take this measurement, which is 125. You could go 360, take away 125, and guess what you'd get? Yes, 235. Okay, so let's wrap this up. These are protractors. They measure angles. Do your best to make it a perfect world. Be nice to other people and put the vertex in the crosshairs or the little hole right there. Start at 3 o'clock over here. If you don't know that, learn how to tell time. Okay, it's fun. Move counterclockwise. That means this way. And start at 0, 0, 10, 20, 30. Done. All right. Hey, thanks for watching this final video of the 2015 school year. Please comment or uh, send me a message and let me know what new ones you'd like to see me make. Okay. Have a great summer. Thanks for watching.